so I don't know if you guys know right now, uh, in France, uh, the working class is gathered by the literal millions filling the streets of France, uh, all major cities, uh, with people who are upset at their government because they want to raise the retirement age by two years. The pictures are stunning. It is end to end streets packed, cities shut down, millions of people Would that happen in America? Would that ever happen in America? If the retirement age was raised a couple years, would that ever happen? They're thinking about doing it right now, so maybe we should all pay attention to that. Republicans want to raise the working age. So that people never retire, never enjoy their lives, you know, got, got to keep those. Got to keep the one percent at the top. Mm, we got to keep them booming. So we got to keep struggling, right? And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Like, would this ever happen? This type of response from workers in the United States, for many reasons, no. Um, a lot of us have been raised by generational and theocratic authoritarianism. We have been, since children, uh, taught to obey those in power at all times. Doesn't matter if it's your parents, doesn't matter if it's the government, doesn't matter if it's the police, doesn't matter if it's your teacher, it doesn't matter you don't ever question authority in America. It's structural, trust me. As someone who grew up in the church, as someone who had to mandatorily pledge allegiance to the United States, but I didn't know what the hell that meant, I had to do it, didn't know what it meant at the time. So, the, the authoritarianism in our society in America, in our culture, in our way of life, it is, it's embedded in us, whether you realize it or not. So that's one reason why something like that that's happening in France right now won't happen here or isn't happening yet. We're acting on the commands of authoritarians in American society. Another reason why it won't happen here, or not for a while, is we have work and health care tied to one another. We have people, people cannot afford to miss work because of their health care, because of their benefits, because of X, Y, and Z. We've tied those things together so people can't, you know, they, they literally cannot afford to miss work at all because they're gonna lose something very important like their health care for them and their families. So w the structure has, has incentivized in, in, in so many ways workers to never ever question our government and just go along with whatever is happening. If they raise uh, the, the age from 65 or, you know, to 67, you know, you're just supposed to go along with it. Your hands are tied. You must obey. We live in an authoritarian society, folks, and it's time to wake up. It's time that we stop going to bat for the powerful, for the elites, for our oppressors, for our authoritarian oppressors, 
and start going to bat for ourselves. And that includes striking. That includes a general strike. That includes fighting back politically against authoritarians that want to deal us an even crappier life than we have right now. Whether it's the continuation of low wages, the continuation uh, of, of, of no no universal health care, uh, you know, college debt, uh, you name it, they want to keep us in chains forever. We have to snap out of it. But anyways, I'm ranting here. Please investigate what's going on in France. Do a little Googling, do a little searching, because major news outlets aren't going to cover this like you think they would. <laughs> Millions of people walking out of work and protesting two years raised on the retirement age in France. <sighs> You're just not going to see it. Our mainstream media doesn't represent us. They represent uh, the, the corporations that help keep us in chains. So... But, but the information is out there. There are plenty of media outlets that you can search on your own that are covering this. And so go read about it and uh, let me know what you think in the comments.